everybody, how's it going? She turned away, what was she looking at? She was a sour girl the day that she left me Hey, what are you looking at? She was a happy girl the day that she left me The girl of the day that she met me Say, what are you looking at? I was a superman, but looks are deceiving What would you do? What would you do? What would you do what if I fall in love? What would you do? song that's how we got down in the 90s and i was gonna just uh make this video a little music thing but i actually kind of feel like sticking another segment in here so obviously we're in a new year there's a lot of people that have made new year's resolutions and stuff and of course they're posting them on facebook and all that kind of stuff so when i was out and about i was just kind of thinking about the nature of motivation a little bit this may just be me but personally when i like set a goal to accomplish or whatever i like the motivation that i'm working towards to be kind of the approval or the affirmation I myself feel about the thing I did. Meaning like the emotional result that I'm wanting is for me to look at the thing I accomplished or did or whatever and just feel like, dang, I'm glad I did that. That was pretty cool. That was like a good step in the right direction. And I think my personal bias is that that's, and I think personally I'm kind of biased to think that that's like the best way emotionally of motivating yourself to accomplish something. But I've known tons of people that really get the energy to accomplish those things because of the reaction it's gonna get in other people. As in like, I did this thing that's really hard to do and like people think it's cool or whatever, or valuable or however you wanna say it. I think I'm just so constituted that I don't like to feel my motivation for doing a particular thing is gonna hinge on somebody else's approval of it. But I can't think of a reason why it would be wrong or even unpreferable necessarily to want that reaction from people. So in contemplation, contemplation of this whole thing, I've kind of come up with a pretty good solution for people that are like that. And I also think it holds a key to why a lot of people fail at their New Year's resolutions and other things like that. So a lot of people will uh, announce that they've made this New Year's resolution to like run a mile a day or something like that. And what will happen is a whole bunch of people on Facebook or in their life or whatever, they'll like comment, hey, you go, or you know, wow, that's really bold of you, blah, blah, blah. And so people will get used to getting their affirmation from people like at the beginning of trying to do something, you know, the announcing of it. So my theory would be that if you keep getting affirmation and, and approval or whatever at the beginning of starting some initiative, you know, subconsciously, you just want to repeat that feeling. Because you're just going to be subconsciously motivated to get that feeling again because you enjoyed it. But I don't want you to take away from this whole thing that like, if you're that kind of person, you're just fated to always like be stuck in this rut of starting things but not finishing them. So here's what you need to do. You need to take some of those initiatives and start them 
without telling anybody. Because if you're the kind of person that just really gets a lot of energy or whatever from like telling people that you're initiating something, you know, if you initiate that thing and don't tell anybody, that feeling's gonna just stay inside you and kind of like want to find expression. So thus, what you should do is you should wait till you start seeing some results along the road and then start telling people. Start it totally in secret and then start sharing when there's tangible progress. What you'll have done subconsciously is disassociated the need for approval from the beginning of a process and put it in the middle of the process or the end of the process, depending on what it is. And whatever part of the process you tie that to, you're gonna get more of. So you might as well start tying it to when the results start coming in. Anyway, I just feel like throwing that in there. I've kind of been throwing that idea around for a little while and I thought it was worth encapsulating and crystallizing in video. And... Hope you enjoyed the song. Hope you enjoyed the rant. Don't say I never taught you nothing. Have a fantastic week. I'm gonna try to make the videos more often. See ya.